everyone, it's Jessica, and today I'm gonna tell you guys about some of my favorites from one brand. And the one brand I'm gonna talk about today is Wet n Wild, one of my favorite brands, one of the cheapest you can find in the drugstore. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm wearing as much of this as I possibly could today, except for like I've got a couple lipsticks, so I just, you know, had to pick one. <laughs> Um, but they're actually everything I'm going to mention I like but there are a couple that I wanted to mention that are not necessarily my favorite that I figured might be worth mentioning just so that you maybe you can avoid them if it's something you wouldn't like but let's start with some of the things I love so we'll go ahead and start with lipsticks because they're kind of the ones that I think of when I think of wet n wild and it is their mega last lipsticks these are only a couple dollars the one I'm wearing right now is one that if you've been watching my channel you know that I love which is 903 C in the shade just peachy and it's just this really nice coral peach shade. Um, the last time I showed it in a video, people were saying it looks a little different than theirs, so I don't know if the shade differs or if they've if this is the newer version or maybe there's no, I don't know. But this is the version I found very recently in the store within the last couple months. I'm wearing it today. Now this formula is one that I've kind of grown to love because when I was first trying these years ago, they are more of a dry formula, but once you kind of heat it up, either you heat it up on the back of your hand or you just keep going on your lips, it warms up and then it's really, it'll spread easier, but upon first usage, you'll see what I mean, it does kind of tug, and they are a cheaper lipstick. However, amongst the cheap lipsticks of the world, these are one of the better ones because some of them are really dry at first, but they never really warm up, whereas these do. The other shade I wanted to mention is in 916D, and the shade is called Raven Raisin, and this is this gorgeous deep purple, and it looks kind of like whoa at first, but in the fall, if you wear like a lighter lip gloss on top of it, it kind of just makes it look like this really deep, nice, mellow color. Um, but it can look really deep, but if you're into that and you know it would look good on you, then you'd love it. But if you're kind of like me where you're like, I don't know, then I would say try it out with a lip gloss on top of it because that kind of shears it out just a little bit and makes it look a little more wearable. But I do love it, and this one is so creamy. Just even upon first putting it on, this one was creamy. So those are two of my favorite shades I had to mention. Now, one of the duds I wanted to mention, I tried out on my eyes today. This one is a Wet n Wild Color Icon glitter single in brass and it's this golden glitter gel and when I first tried it I loved it because the top layer of this when I would swirl my finger into it and it is like a gel there was a ton of glitter I put it on and it was really kind of like a thick layer of glitter I was like wow but once you get past that first layer it's just okay there's still glitter there and what I did today is on my lid I just took the little bit of glitter and I just kind of patted it patted it in like an area and so you can see there's still that little bit of glitter there so I would let it dry for a second and pat on a little more and it would add a little more but it doesn't stay put as well as I, I had hoped it would so like I feel like I was able to get a lot of glitter on this lid but not as much on this lid so I had to top it, it was so sticky and it never really dried so I topped it with um, an eyeshadow they sell, I'll show you in a second um, and it helped but again it just it's uneven and patchy so this is one that the first layer was great so if you know you're just gonna maybe use it once you'll love it for that one time and it's cheap it's like a dollar ninety nine but anything beyond that it's not great it's just not great so what I'm wearing on my eyes completely and alone is this wet n wild palette it is their comfort zone palette these are around five dollars and it comes with eight shades. They've got a purple one and a blue one as well, but this is the one that to me seemed the most wearable. I, my favorite shades in this, this yellowish brow bone color, they call it a brow bone, I am wearing on my brow bone, but I also put as my lid shade. Then I used, oh my gosh, my favorite, this like kind of patina, olivey green color. It makes me think of Max Patina in a way. I love this shade, I'll swatch this one. I'm gonna swatch a few of my favorites. And this like amber, kind of color here. These are two of my absolute favorite shades and when you swatch them you'll see, oh my gosh, even just seeing them I'm like wow it's just the most beautiful, so pigmented, so shimmery and oh my gosh. I mean it makes me think of my Too Faced shadows that I love like from my chocolate bar palette. They are so gorgeous. I would say this palette is worth buying for these two shades alone 
but then they've got these deeper colors like this deep green I wear I'm wearing today all along my lower lash line and also kind of on the outer corner of my eye um, and then there's this um, really interesting kind of duochrome one um, that I'll do it on the back of my hand um, or yeah so this is the duochrome one I was talking about and then this is that green one that I like to wear on my lower lash line these are beautiful now this doesn't come with any matte shades so if you know you don't like shimmer on your eyes you probably wouldn't like this palette but if you want to mix this or use this in conjunction with maybe at least one matte shadow maybe for the crease um, but I ended up using this in the crease as well as this so I just kind of did both um, and then, like I said, the dark green just lining my eye all around and on the outer corner, it's beautiful. And then this is such a beautiful kind of light. It reminds me of um, Rice Paper from MAC. It's just a light kind of creamy yellow beige. I love it. So another kind of dud I wanted to mention, it's not terrible, but this is the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. Now, I had tried their foundation. I really like it. I've, it got old, and so I got rid of it but it's a really nice foundation, so that's one I would recommend. Um, they're really cheap. The color range is not great because it is a really cheap brand, um, so that is one of the huge downsides. If you're lucky enough to find your um, foundation color in it, it really is a nice, it's got high coverage, and it's just a nice foundation. But the primer that goes along with it, I've done a demo with the foundation and primer. I can link below if you are interested. Uh, it's it smells like Elmer's glue and I think that's what turns me off so every time I'm looking at my primer area of my drawer and I'm thinking about which one to wear I never reach for this one because of the smell alone does it hold on to your foundation okay yeah I think it, it, it I just can't and it, it's the consistency of Elmer's glue I I think it helps the foundation stay on longer any foundation but I don't think it's gonna make or break you I think there are better drugstore primers out there like the Maybelline Baby Skin's pretty good. Um, you know, I would go for that one or the Rimmel Base Perfect one over this one. It's okay, but it's not the best that's out there. Um, the, <laughs> this one, I, I know I'm sounding redundant about this highlighter. I've talked about it literally in the last three videos, but this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. I won't talk about it too much, just know that this is one of my favorite highlighters. I'm wearing it today. You can see it's just this light colored powder that just has a little bit of shimmer to it. And that little bit of shimmer really just catches the light so beautifully and it just makes you look like you're glowing without look, looking like you're trying too hard. You know, it's not like a um, really shimmery one or glittery. It's just got a nice glow. It's beautiful. It's $3.99. You cannot beat this and there's so much product in here. This is one that I have repurchased a couple times because I've used it up or yeah. So the next, the last two I'm going to mention, the first one's a blush. This is one I don't hear many people talking about. It's the Wet n Wild by Fergie blush and it's from the Center Stage collection and it's called Brush with Destiny. And it's this gorgeous, peachy, shimmery, but it's got a little bit of pink, but I would say it's more peachy than anything. It's really, really pigmented, really creamy. It blends well. Now, it does have a shimmer to it, so if you don't like that, you wouldn't like this. It kind of reminds me of NARS Orgasm Blush, but it's a little more wearable. Sometimes I think the NARS one can look almost too much in the daylight, like way too much. But this one is really, really nice. I'm wearing this one today as well. Looks a little harsh over here though. Um, but I really, I love this color. I think it could look really nice and frosty if you've got a deeper skin tone, but if you have a lighter one, it just looks really glowy. Um, really pretty summertime, like cabana look, you know, but without being too much, I love it. The last thing I'm gonna mention is one that is hard to find for some people. I found mine at Walmart, I think. But this is the Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild Color Icon Contouring Palette. They have two different shades. This one's in Caramel Toffee. The other one I think is called Dolce de Leche. And um, this one I love. It does, the contour shade has a little bit of almost a rose tint to it, but not too much where it's obvious. It's, it's a really nice contour shade. And I wore it today. I even did a little bit up here. It's just so easy to work with because it's not too pigmented. It's still pigmented enough that it shows up, but it's not one that you can screw up too easily, which I really, really like. And then the highlighting shade I actually use to set my under eye concealer. It's just, 
It's not, again, it's not the most pigmented thing in the world and it doesn't really show in swatches. But because it's completely matte, it's really nice at lightening this area and like if you've got a really dewy or tacky concealer, it does a great job of setting that as well. I used this today going down my nose as well and up here just to lighten it without adding any shimmer. It's perfect for that. But again, I would say out of the two, I like the contour shade the best. And it's really hard to find contouring products in the drugstore. There's a lot more coming out now, but for a while it was hard to find. So when this recently came out, um, you know, I think it was it was sold out pretty much everywhere I looked because it's, I mean, it's so great that they have something like this out there. So those are all of my Wet n Wild recommendations and some that maybe I wouldn't recommend. There are so many other products from Wet n Wild that are great as well, but I, I kind of corralled my favorites and then a few that I wanted you guys to maybe avoid. Um, let me know what your Wet n Wild favorites are down below. I would love to see it and I'm sure everyone else that's watching this might be curious about some other ones out there. I'd also be curious to know what your other favorite shades of the Mega Last Lipsticks are, so list those below as well because I'm wanting to try a few more. I can link my Gems of the Drugstore playlist below. I used to do these a long time ago. I haven't done them in a while, but I'm kind of resurrecting this as well. So I can link those older ones below if you're interested to see, but I'll be coming out with a lot more new ones for the different brands. Other than that, I hope you'll subscribe and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!